What's up, world? In your face, 513 here. Here to bring you peace, love, and harmony. But today, we're talking about a topic that I've dealt with that has helped me magnificently in this ways to self-soothe. Particularly, five ways to self-soothe. And self-soothing is very important in my... In, uh, if you ask me, self-soothing is very important if you're feeling some type of strong emotion, maybe you're going through a breakup, maybe you lost your parent, mom or dad, maybe you're going through a some type of circumstance, some situation, maybe you don't have enough money, maybe you're stressed out because of college or high school, whatever it is, these are five ways that will help you self-soothe and get through. The number one that helps me self-soothe is calming music whether it's meditation music, whether it's some type of hip hop, maybe just the instrumental. Most of the time it is instrumentals that help me self-soothe because the words bring bring some type of frequency that don't help too much. But the beat, the beat always helps me out a lot. The beat always calms me down or it makes me bob my head and forget about whatever situation, stress, whatever I'm going through, whatever emotion I'm feeling, it lifts me up. But I can definitely say if you sit and listen to some calming music, some meditation music, some 432 Hertz, yeah, baby, listen to something like that, it'll definitely lift up your spirits and help you self-soothe and get through. Magnificent. It's magnificent. The second thing that has helped me self-soothe is to change my environment, change my scenery, changing what I'm doing or literally what I'm seeing every day. Maybe maybe you're stuck in the house or maybe you're stuck in that college dorm for too long. You feel like you've been in that classroom for way too long. You just need to get up and go out in nature. Go hug a tree or something. <laughs> just look up in the sky. This nighttime, look up in the stars and just stargaze. The stars are amazing. Try to find that Big Dipper, you know? Or the Little Dipper or whatever else you can find. Maybe the K9 star, whatever you can find. Just get out of the house, change the scenery, go around some friends, do something different. Don't just sit around and ruminate on whatever you're stressing on, whatever feelings, whatever emotions you're feeling or going through, whatever the situation be. Don't dwell on it. Just try to move forward and getting out of your, and changing your environment and getting out of the house or Whatever you're, wherever you're stuck at the longest, that will definitely help you self-soothe with stress, frustration, irritation, whatever it may be, anger, whatever. The third way that I've self-soothed is through incense. <laughs> that good dragon's blood, you hear me? Or maybe you like the Gucci incense. Maybe you like, who knows, the lotus flower, the sunflower. Whatever scent floats your boat, spark it up, breathe it in, and relax. Just relax, enjoy the fresh aroma of whatever you just, whatever incense you bought. Maybe it's not even incense, maybe it's sage, maybe it's, maybe you smoke weed. I don't know, that's up to you guys. Like, maybe you like the smell of weed, maybe you don't smoke it, but you like the smell of it, and it soothes and it calms you, whatever that is. I tell you to give it a try. It wouldn't hurt. And I believe that um, when you, maybe it's a candle. I believe that whatever, um, whatever scent you choose, just breathe it in, relax, and just enjoy it. Enjoy the moment, enjoy the sweet aroma, enjoy the sweet scent, whatever you just bought. I've heard of some great scents out there. Um, some of the greatest ones that come to mind come to mind right now would have to be like the Kush one I bought that one would have to be like I said Gucci Dragon's Blood isn't too bad but it's not one of my favorites but it does help me and it does smell good or you can just spray some cologne and tag body spray <laughs> I don't even know if they make tag body spray or Axe whatever that is just breathe that in relax take a seat just take a chill pill and enjoy the fourth way that I self-soothe is through meditation. I meditate on my thoughts. I meditate on whatever emotion, feeling, or the situation. Whatever thoughts just come to my mind, I meditate on them. I don't look at them, whether it's 
bad. Uh, I don't look at it in a positive or negative sense. I just look at it as, okay, those, these are just my thoughts. They're only thoughts. They only become reality if I take action upon them. That goes for you guys too. But meditate on whatever you're going through, feel it, thinking through, think it through, and that will help you self-soothe as well. Meditation is one of the greatest ways to get through anything, whether that is anger, anxiety, depression, irritation, frustration, whatever it is you're going through, grief, conviction, guilt, whatever it is you feel, I advise you to meditate on it. And I'm telling you, you will feel better. If you continue, stay consistent with the meditation every day, you will see growth in your psyche. You will see growth in your body language and in all fields of reality, in your reality, you will see a huge difference. I'm not just saying this just to say it, I'm being for real. Take my advice, because I have meditated for about, I've been meditating since the last video I made, which was the anxiety and depression one. And I feel great. I think it's only been about four days. So I advise you guys to do the same. The fifth and last way to self-soothe is to take those deep breaths. <laughs> I know I said it in my other video as well, but deep breaths lock you down into the moment. They let that blood flow to your brain. It relaxes you, it calms your heart down, it calms your body down. It just makes you more calmer. I really, I really believe deep breaths is something that I have overlooked. It's something that I've recently been doing to get through all of my situations, all of my, all of my frustrations, anger, depression, everything that I feel sometimes, taking a deep breath just locks me into the moment and reminds me that everything is going to be good. As long as I think it's going to be good, everything will be good. I am the architect, the controller, the master of my reality. I control what happens with my brain. So do you. And taking deep breaths will definitely aid you in your life journey. I'm glad I was able to bring you guys this quick video today. Peace, love, all of the above in your face here please like and subscribe i would really appreciate it working towards that million views baby so help me achieve that goal that would be awesome i love you guys i hope these five tips have helped you no matter what no matter what five you choose i hope one of them helps you get through whatever you're feeling out there guys like i said before i love you all and i wish the best for every one of you thank you for your time you have a marvelous day in your face, out.